What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to the final episode of Let's Let's Play uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Very bittersweet. This game, like I've mentioned, not as great as the first one, in my opinion, but it's still pretty good. It definitely gives me the feels. I I'm always like in a constant flux of, ooh, I really want to play the new Life is Strange chapter, and ooh, I really don't want to play it because I don't want to feel sad right now. <laughs> but uh, here we are. Ready to feel sad once again! Here's Deck Nine. There's another game by Deck Nine I heard about recently, but I don't remember what it is. Anyways, every time we we do an episode, uh, the background changes. The first time was, you know, the nice organ, beautiful uh, 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 backgrounds, wilderness. Oh, those bird shells, that's cool as hail! Uh, after we beat episode one, it turned to a flamey, flamey fire death. And then now we're going to episode three, it's now just all burned up and burned to a crisp. So, without further ado, let's jump right on into it, shall we? Uh, I'm really hoping this is installed already. I opened up the, uh, game to install it, and it looked like it was already installed. Is it already installed? I don't know how this stuff works. I thought, th like with Telltale Games, which is a very similar setup, you have to, like, click on the game to actually install it, but it looks like it's just already kind of here. Previously, on Life is Strange. Interesting. The storm. Hey, here we go. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your she actions. She used the force. <laughs> we both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. What? In what do you mean for everyone? Years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. That's a weird inner thought junkyard, effect. All I've got left. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Uh, what is do, he trying? Don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! <laughs> Julie, yeah, I think we made the right decision there by staying out of it. Inferno is the culprit. Closing Inferno, the door Inferno. robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What oh, you dead, girl. To my most hopeful wish. Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. I just thought of something. What would it take to convince you? So I just started snowing this little stone on the ground. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? In the, uh... Rachel, In the end of the last episode, it showed a scene of saw. Rachel's now disclosed mother. It showed that her standing underneath that street mistress. lamp. And there's footprints of uh, Chloe and Rachel dancing, but they weren't there yet. That there wasn't still on the ground then. Your <laughs> mother. My mother! Alright, let's find out why. Who, what, why, where, cat dog, what, why is this going on? Also, I feel like Chloe should probably just leave now. This is getting real awkward. The ultimate. <gasps> she has freaking Maui's hook around her neck. What the hell? But are you sure that Chloe should be here for? Yeah, it's things. kind of awkward. Because <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is. Sarah, your birth mother. I don't understand how they're gonna possibly explain this. That awkward moment when your dad you turns into a telescope. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Once again, her earring's really cool. I don't know why, like, that draws. But even the fact that she only has the one pierce here is really cool to me. I don't know why. Is she the raven? Is that why she has a feather? I mean, ravens don't have blue feathers, but, but still. Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. We need you. Ha, LOL, JK. <laughs> if we could just examine the couch. It's a nice leather couch. Point of the view pal press F? Okay. Oh, that's weird to give you tutorials for this. Seems a bit unnecessary. Is 
is weirdly artsy, and I don't know if it works, but... Is that the only thing we look at? Show enough! When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. She looks exactly like Teachers, Rachel. Teachers, her friends... <laughs> Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Should I look again? She was so beautiful, just like you. Yeah, they actually do. That, that, I gotta say, they actually made a good job of making her look very similar to Rachel, but you could tell it's like, you know, they, they made subtle differences. So, you know. She was so alive. Really good job of that. Good job. So good job, game developers. about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. Wow. Yeah, it's about as good as I could dance. Were pursuing <laughs> college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She just wanted to dance. She was looking. Oh, did she get into drugs? She got the drug. I only saw what I wanted to see. Until it was almost too late. Ain't that the truth about relationships? Okay. Just curious if she was so beautiful, just like you. When you're in love, all you see is the good things. So there's two more things here. Nice hair, dude. King. When Sarah became pregnant, pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. With a Luigi board, and it did for a little while. Becoming uh -huh. your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. She's got to get into like some crazy drugs, right? I'm guessing that has to be what happens. This all feels like someone else's life. Oh, shit, we have a lot Whatever to Whatever happens, still. Rachel, I'm here. However much she loved you then. I thought she was like cutting her wrist for a second. What's under her bed? It wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Is it a knife? A oh, okay. I thought it was a knife. Is she gonna kill the- is she gonna try I to kill Rachel? I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That- That no flat hair. Happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. That's why you never even try drugs, man. I was wrong. It's about the slippery slope you could ever try to climb. Eventually, I saw her. For who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love. Of her own daughter. Oh, Jesus! I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you. Oh, again. come on. She's not sharing the drugs with Rachel anymore? What? What's wrong with you, mother? Oh, jeez. Just... What? What the hell's... Oh, then we're back around. It's like a circle. We can't... We, got no... we can't... We have no more comments on that? Okay, this has got to be the last one then. What you saw? Oh, yeah. At the overlook, Rachel. It was true. We kissed. But why did they meet the up? Saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss, goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally, but she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. 
But after all the people she hurt, all the lives she destroyed. Plot twist: I told the dad's actually lying. She'd been given the greatest None of this happens. in the world. He's just. This is just a cover-up story she for hooking up with her. Your mother, and she squandered it. It's kind of cool seeing, like, you know, this side of the story because you know, whenever parents like divorce, that. normally it's the mother who gets the kids, Whatever right? Again. Normally it's the opposite. Oh, and wait. again. Is that the tree Rachel burned down? To keep you safe. And again, and again, and again, and again. 25 cents. Oh, my aunt got that kind of money. I spent 25 cents on a lot of chicken I bought today at the farmer market. So that Sorry. was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. Every single month. Is she crying? It's oh, that was just a weird light. Look at that lighting thing on her face. That's kind of weird that she's just kind of okay with this. The fact but that they kissed. She wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Yeah. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? I maybe think so. if a kid wants to meet their mother, I consider I think, that for you know, fifteen years, regardless of the risks, well, to you, to a fault, Rachel. Oh, I see. I think I need to lie down. Is she gonna make it? <laughs> This, this cutscene made me think she's gonna like, collapse or something. That's by the way it was like framed out. Oh, this is awkward. Jesus. It scares me. I... Oops. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest Cast Party! Party! Love it, love it, love it. Sorry. Uh, I already texted Rachel like eight times. Yeah. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come! Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Uh, hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. Oh, jeez, how many people are in this group chat? But you totally said, wait a minute. Brooke, has she been in this episode before? Are this series before? Uh, but you totally saved us. Without you there, we would have... Oh my god, <laughs> there would have been no show. Uh, seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Uh, I like how Juliet is in the plays. I wonder if that's how her name was chosen. You just missed one picture last time. Seriously? Seriously? Are there no pictures this episode? Whoa, wait, what? That's not what I clicked. Huh? <laughs> what? This is glitching? No. Oh. Let's see. Well, that's not right. <laughs> All right. Uh, oops, no. Oh, this is the stuff I was saying. Wait, what, where was that? I was just clicking on it. I suck. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's that's the last thing. Right, right. Okay, so what are you looking for now? Land of the Freaks, Torture Schedule, Portrait of Survivors, Daily Dick Pigs, Greasy Gunk, Snack Bags, Clean Canvas, Brotherly Limb, DA's Desk, Unheated Warning. I suck. Uh, gas Mask. This is pretty cool artwork, too. Those hangings. Uh, Alright, Sarah. What can he say about a woman so mysterious her own daughter never even heard of her until now? From what James told us, Sarah is a drug addict who got herself mixed up in all sorts of crazy shit. And by drugs, I mean OD and end up dead in an alleyway drugs and not smoke a bowl and watch anime. When Rachel was a baby, Sarah would get high when she was supposed to be looking after her. Things got fucked up that James had to take Rachel away. Um, the funny thing is, even James talked about how all the horrible things Sarah has done, he seemed... I don't know, fix it, I guess. You could see the power she had over him. Actually, when he was talking about how he, how beloved, beloved and magnetic Sarah used to be, I couldn't help think of Rachel. I wonder if James sees that too. Maybe it's what uh, makes him so afraid of her. Anyway, now Sarah is in Arcadia Bay looking to meet Rachel after years of taking James' money to stay away. Suddenly, she has a relationship with her daughter. James seems skeptical. Rachel, I can't even imagine what Rachel's been going through. 
I wonder if like Rachel or sorry, I wonder if Sarah's gonna like meet up with uh Mr. Jefferson. That'd be interesting. Uh let me read this. Okay. Uh Max! I used to think the strangest things about Amber about the Ambers how was how normal they were. They seemed like a bad 90s sitcom family. I did my best to play the part of her wacky yet lovable best friend. Uh, yes, I, I did take a newspaper picture of James on the fridge, but only because his face looked so stupid. The goal was to get in and out of there without causing a scene so we could make our escape. About that, turns out Rachel could sit back and let her cheating father act all high and mighty. I tried to distract her and remind her of her goal. It almost worked. Then Rachel snapped. I guess she just couldn't stand the lying anymore. She told her mom about James making out with that woman. Everyone started yelling, and the next thing I knew, Rachel was going full destruction. Dis destruct. Destructicon on the table. That's when the truth finally came out. Rachel's mom equals not her mom. Rachel's real mom equals makeout wo woman. Mine equals blow. Chloe the wacky little hole. What's this say? When I first read, when I was first reading, uh, um, where the hell was it? Oh yeah, the Sarah thing. It was like, oh wow. Uh, Chloe didn't say hey Max or anything, but no, that, that, that's in the diary. Uh, no other text. Doesn't look like it. All right, cool. Uh, well then, <laughs> to say this is awkward? Ooh. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. Yep. Uh, it's the middle. Okay, so nothing new there, really, besides some new text. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. Uh, yeah, I probably did. Just the even the fact they're lying to each other. So far away now. The Tempest, uh, Arm Armin. Congrats to the wonderful cast of the Tempest. Sorry I missed out, guys. Emergency came up. Love you guys. I'm so sorry. Why, well, sorry, don't control the fire. Or do you? <laughs> Chloe held it down like a champ. Any updates on Jews doing recovering? You're going to see him first thing in the morning. I don't know this if I heard this last so episode. Right. Look at. Uh, Arcadia Bay Golf Sale, the Beacon 40 Plus house, Healthy Lifestyle, Incognito Tap, How to Incognito Tap, How to Clear Browsing History, Small Shops, Not Face. Shouldn't the How to Clear, clear Browsing History, shouldn't that disappear? Since you know, he clearly just fig figured out how to. This get rid seems of like a Anyways. James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. Metamorphosis. Newspaper. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? Well, I don't know. Well, the fire's out now, I think. I wonder what James is thinking right now. I don't know. Why don't we talk to him? <sighs> Um, this must be hard for you, too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. I mean, why So that... that's why you never told her? Why is that so bad, though? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of it. Well, I mean, I guess she is connected. <sighs> oh man, these are both questions I want to ask. Let's let's see. I think I know what he's gonna say if I ask him. I some... I don't understand. The other one. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone, but addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. But that's who she is. You clearly have well, a list indicating I that you Rachel know. Trusts you more than Maybe it's just like else right she's now. guessing? Is I this where know. you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? <laughs> this is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Tr try the truth. All right, we'll... That is something I will always do. She's like so I said, young. try the truth. Watch, tell the truth for once. You know. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that, please. It's weird that we. I'll uh, do what I can. I care about her too, you know. I know. Thank you. <clears throat> I wonder if her parents are okay with like you know clearly Chloe and uh, Rachel having some kind of 
lovey-dovey relationship. I don't know, I just kind of get the feeling he wouldn't be, but I don't know, his character has kind of done a 180, like, in the past, like, you know, hour of gameplay time. I'm to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Broken table! Rachel completely destroyed that table. Not just the glass. I mean, you could put another piece of... What is that? There's just one napkin on the floor. Everything else is cleaned up but that napkin. Like, yeah, we'll leave that. things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. Yuck. It's so weird to look at this now. I mean, she is hugging her dad and not her mom, her, her fake mom. I can't even her imagine fall. how she must be feeling. Yeah, I'm hey, actually really curious. Mrs. Amber. Leave me alone! I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Oh, okay. that actually kind of has to... Rose. I wonder, like, how she came to agree with this. Do you need any help with... Like, anything? hey, I need you to That's pretend to be my daughter's mother, please. Me. She must never know the, the truth. For me? It's in the breezeway. Door to the left of the fridge. Oh, hell yeah! Sleeping mini game. Okay, Were say you the other able thing. To find the broom? No. I was able to kill you, eh? Sorry. Can't believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. Just a few hours? Oh, is this door? Huh? I thought it was on the other side of the house. Is there just a dead body in here? Hey, oh, cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this. Ever gonna steal it? <laughs> I guess. Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. What a weird Thanks. thing to ask. Hey, just traumatizing event happened. Do you mind if I take this piece of clothing? <laughs> is that it? I thought there was a third thing to click on there. Get the broom! Broom I get to! Uh, oops. No. How do I get to my journal? It's tab, right? Also, my tab button is sticky. It's not anything weird! Alright. Land of the Freaks. I don't know what that means. Not anything weird! Why don't I just sweep up? Here you go. Why would this, like... Thank you. Like, obviously, I wonder what she's gonna do. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like the crafter swat's here. I wonder if I could have swapped glad that you're here. Thanks. But why? But yeah, my tab on sticky because I spilled a drink on it. With all of this, <laughs> just the to know finish she that. Talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? Yeah. How am I doing? Your generation yeah. loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. It's a bit of an awkward taco. Yeah, it's super weird. I mean, yeah, I am doing better than Rachel. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. Hey, let's not make it about me. She it's about Rachel right now. Every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Uh. I mean, Sarah chose Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I, I never mean, knew how much I could love someone. Maybe it wasn't. Until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I mean, not that I didn't know, not but happy with James for the whole way this came out. The fact that you the argument that she chose money over with Rachel. James? What about what he did at the Oak? Yeah, about this. it might be hard for you to understand, but after thirteen years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. I mean, or James. you don't have to feel threatened, the but one who needs you right now. You know, you <laughs> I think, Sarah I think it'd dangerous? be fair for her to be angry still. I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. 
even after he made out with a, his ex. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Um, Thank you, Chloe. Yeah, I kind of doubt Sarah's like, hey, if you give me money, I'll never see, I'll never come see Rachel. I think it was honestly probably like, look, Sarah, you can't see your daughter. I'll give you money to keep you quiet. I feel like probably James did the persuading in that. But I don't know. That's really just my interpretation. 